Hey guys, I got a new video for you today, and today is May 11th, which also means it is 511. So that's why I am bringing you today a new piece of apparel that I picked up at my local 511 store today. Uh, I actually reached out to my good buddy Andrew over there and I asked them if they had already received in these pair of pants. And if you guys don't know, these are the new 511 Defender Flex jeans. I actually came across these guys at SHOT Show earlier this year and I immediately fell in love with them. Uh, they had them up on a mannequin and they looked really, really awesome. I also got a chance to play with a pair that was hanging up and I loved the feel of them. They felt very nice. Um, they almost felt like they were broken in already. And I can tell you, um, I tried them on at the store today. I obviously, as you guys can see, it still has all the tags on them. And I did not want to take them off. I actually wanted to walk out with them on for from how comfortable they were. But I also did want to record this video so I can go ahead and show it to you guys. So um, after whining and crying, I took them off, um, paid for them, and walked out and quickly rushed home so I can show you guys this video. Um, they are extremely, extremely comfortable. So if you guys are into jeans or if you guys are looking for a new pair of jeans or something like that, I would definitely give these guys a try. So again, uh, these are the new Defender Flex jeans from 511. They actually have them in two colors. This one right here is the Dark Wash Indigo. And then they also have a regular Indigo as well. Now, um... I normally do not um, wear jeans that are these this shade so dark, but again, these fit so nice and a lot of the features were really awesome that I decided to go ahead and purchase them, give them a try, and uh, I'm going to start wearing them uh, as soon as I can. So um, they also make two cuts. Uh, this particular one is the straight leg one. So the legs go all the way down and they have a wider opening and then they make a more of a narrow leg. I'm not exactly sure what that one is going to be called, but um, obviously the opening at the bottom of the leg would be a little bit more narrow. So just keep that in mind uh, if you do decide to maybe order these online make sure that you're ordering the one that you're going to want to for you. Uh, this particular one is a 34 inch waist by 34 inch seam and that's actually my exact measurements so they are true to size. So again uh, if you guys are wondering should I order a bigger size or anything like that uh, pretty much whatever you wear in jeans you can go ahead and get in these and they'll fit fine. As far as for the construction goes, um, this is uh, 10 ounce mechanical stretch denim, which is actually a combination of 76% cotton and 24% polyester with a Lycra. Uh, T400 Tough Max. So what that means is basically uh, it is a poly blend so you're going to get some stretch because of that Lycra in there uh, which is great because it's going to move really nice with you depending on what it is that you're going to be doing with uh, these jeans. Um, but they're not they're not going to feel very stretchy. Um, so you know they do have some stretch to them but they're not very stretchy which is nice. Uh, and again, um, the construction has double needle construction and um, with bar tacks in the higher stretch er uh, stress area. So again, these jeans are designed to be worn in all sorts of different uh, conditions. There's a lot of little um, added features all throughout the jeans, which look really, really nice. And I'll go ahead and show them to you guys. But I just wanted to give you a quick overview of um, all the different construction of the jean itself. So let me go ahead and open it up so you guys can get a better look at them. Uh, again, this one is the Dark Wash Indigo, and I do like the um, the contrast from the actual um, color of the jeans. Uh, they kind of fade right here in the front all the way down towards the knee area. And you have the uh, lap lines right here. It looks really nice. It just it basically looks like a regular pair of denim jeans, and I like that. Um, I, I didn't want it to look too overly tactical or anything like that, and this, uh, I think, does a really good job at, again, being able to be used in different circumstances. Also, the contrast of the orange stitching all the way around gives it that more um, kind of uh, traditional denim look to them, and I think looks really, really nice. Now, this is obviously your, um, your traditional five-pocket construction, so you have your two main pockets in the front here, your two back pockets in the back, and then you have your fifth coin pocket in the top right here but besides that there is uh, a couple other features that make this um an even better that pair of jeans than your traditional jeans uh, i already spoke about the construction as far as the um you know the little bit of spandex lycra built into it so that it, again it's going to move with you very very nicely uh, the pockets are very nice very easy to get into so let's go ahead and talk about the pockets um obviously your two pockets right here in the front are going to be your traditional pockets but as you guys can see they do have double stitching and the uh, bar tack and the ends right here so again if you're running a knife or a flashlight or something like that your keys uh you're not going to have to worry about it having too much wear and tear because again uh, it is highly reinforced right around um, the curve of the pockets there 
The uh, fifth coin pocket, uh, what they call a coin pocket right here, is actually a lot wider than your traditional coin pocket, but it is also a lot deeper than, than the traditional coin pocket. And that's really awesome because I know a lot of times we like to um, run our EDC gear close at hand. So I have a couple of items right here on the side, as you guys can see, just so you guys can tell um, you know, what it is that you can put in there or how deep it is. So I just have a um, Leatherman Wingman here. Again, this fits in there perfectly as you guys can see you can clip it on the pocket there if you don't want to you can actually slide it right into the pocket and there is still about uh about an inch left on the top so it, it rides very deep in there um here is a uh, little bit of a larger size knife uh, again you can go ahead and clip it on the pocket there and it rides in the pocket very very well uh, i have a glock 23 40 or um, 40 caliber 15 round mag here that fits in there perfectly. So if you wanna run a separate mag in there, you can do that. And then last but not least, I have um, just a through night TC12 flashlight here. Again, you guys know the size of these flashlights. If you don't wanna clip it in there, you can go ahead and put it that far deep. Or if not, you can clip it onto that little pocket and run the flashlight in there as well. So again, that deeper, wider pocket definitely gives you a lot more options to be able to carry your gear a lot nicer. Um, as far as the construction, going back to that, you do have a um, 511 branded button right here. And I like the fact that they did a little bit of branding all the way around. So as you guys can see, like these little rivets here all say 511 on them. The button right there has the 511 logo on it as well. And then as you open that up, you do have a YKK zipper, which is really nice, but it is also 511 branded right in the front there. Uh, uh, it's, it slides in the tracks very, very well, so you don't have to worry about it getting caught up or anything like that. And again, that's a little bit more of the comfort items that you would normally find in higher end or um, higher priced uh, you know, jeans and stuff like that. So uh, let's go ahead and turn this guy around so we can look in the back. Again, um, in the back you have your standard uh, two back pockets that you would find in a lot of jeans. So again, it's just uh, the opening pockets you can put, you know, in there, run your wallet and stuff like that. But besides that, you also have two additional hip pockets right here. And uh, this is pretty common that you would find in 511 in their tactical pants, like their strike pants and stuff like that. But they went ahead and transitioned that into their Defender Flex jeans here, which is really, really awesome. Because again, if you're the type of person that normally would run like a mag, uh, you know, or, or magazines or something like that in your uh, tactical cargo pants and stuff like that, now you're able to do the same thing in your jeans. So this is what makes these pants very versatile. So, you know, if you're just wearing them to, you know, go around town and stuff like that, you can do that. If you need to wear them to the range or for some training or something like that, you can go ahead and do that as well. So again, they transition very well into a lot of different environments. So just to show you guys, um, here I have a standard 30 round P mag and that fits perfectly right in there so as you guys can see you can go ahead and run a p mag i have a larger size knife this is a cold steel voyager xl something like that you can go ahead and run it in there as well so again you have a lot of room to distribute a lot of gear all the way around your jeans without having to have weigh them down by having the cargo pockets on the sides and things like that you can still keep a nice and sleek form factor to your pants so if you're uh, you know maybe you're running a shirt that's tucked in or you know you don't want to uh you know just weigh yourself down too much with with the stuff in the front pockets you can go ahead and transition those things into those two back hip pockets right there so as you guys can see these are um very very nice jeans i mean um i was really really looking forward to when these were going to be released after seeing them at shaw show and when i found out that they had them already at my local 511 store i went down there and went ahead and picked up a pair um, i think i might end up picking up the other um color as well the regular indigo so again this is the dark wash indigo so i might pick up the uh indigo one as well just because they're again so nice they're very very comfortable and they look really, really nice. What I'll do is I'll go ahead and put these on so you guys can see what they look like when I have them on. And I'll show you guys how some of the gear uh, fits into the pockets. All right, guys. So I went ahead and threw on the Defender Flex jeans. I wanted to give you a look at what they look like when somebody is actually wearing them. So in a moment, I'll go ahead and pan the camera down so you guys can see that. Now, I did want to make sure that you guys keep in mind that, again, these are true to size. So I am a 34 by 34, and that's what I'm wearing. So again, if that's what you'd normally wear in jeans, or maybe if you already have some 5'11 pants, pretty much what you wear in those is what you would wear in these jeans. So let me go ahead and pan the camera down now. 
All right, first things first, um, I do have my shirt tucked in. I wanted you guys to make sure you get a full unobstructed view of the jeans themselves. And I'm also not wearing a belt. Um, the reason for it, again, I want you guys to see the jeans, but these belt loops are wide enough that they will accommodate you know, pretty much any belt out there. So just keep that in mind. Uh, as far as the color goes, again, as you guys can see, this is a really nice um, kind of dark blue color. And then you have that transition into the um, you know kind of lighter wash in the front of the legs and the lap lines and stuff like that. But I really do love the contrast between the blue and then the orange stitching all the way around. I think it gives it a nice traditional kind of cowboy denim um, look to them and I really do like that. As far as the comfort goes, I mean these fit like they've been broken in, uh, like you've been wearing them for months and that's primarily the reason why I didn't want to take them off when I was trying them on is just how comfortable they are. Again, this one does have the straight legs so if you want something that's a little bit wider then I would pr probably recommend these. If not, you know, you can get the other uh, the other legs which would be a little bit more narrow. So let me go ahead and show you guys some of the stuff that you would normally carry so you guys can see how the different pockets, specifically the fifth coin pocket here and then the also the optional hip pockets come into play to kind of carry your gear all the way around. So first things first, I have my iPhone. This is an iPhone 7 Plus. So again, it's a little bit on the larger side. It does have a case and it fits perfectly into the front pockets. So if you normally carry your phone in the front pocket, that's great. But again, you do have the optional hip pocket. So if you want to carry it there, you can also put it right in there. And as you guys can see, it fits in there perfectly. Enough of the phone is sticking out just a little bit. So you can go ahead and grab it, pull it out and use it if you have to. So again, everybody carries a cell phone and uh, these do a great job at carrying, you know, even the larger size cell phones. Um, something like a spare mag. So again, this is a um, 15 round mag for a Glock 23, 40 caliber. Again, it is fully loaded. If you wanted to go ahead and put it into that fifth coin pocket, it fits perfectly in there, not a problem. Again, the hip pockets right here, uh, they sit below the top of the pocket, so you don't even know that, they're it, that that mag is in there. And again, you have a backup mag if you need it. So that's really cool. Speaking of mags, again, we have the um, standard 30 round P mag, which is primarily what these pockets were designed for. So again, if you're wearing these jeans, maybe out at the range um, or for work, you know, where you would normally have to carry extra mags or something like that, you can go ahead and rock yourself a P mag on either side in those hip pockets and you're good to go. Again, very easily accessible. Um, you know, so they sit right there out of the way, uh, but if you do need them, you can go ahead and grab it and again, you're good to go. Uh, getting down to some of the more traditional stuff, uh, obviously a pocket knife. So a pocket knife clips very well into the pocket there, but if you did want to rock it in the fifth coin pocket, as you guys can see, that is a larger size knife and it fits completely in there. But if I wanted to, I can go ahead and clip it onto the pocket as well. And it's right there ready at hand. Uh, another item is a multi-tool. Again, this is a Leatherman Wingman. This particular one does have a pocket clip, so it is kind of more designed to be clipped into the pocket. But for the most part, especially with jeans, I find that a lot of people end up having to, if you're carrying a knife and a multi-tool, you end up having to put it in a belt, in a sheath or something like that. This way you can actually just clip it onto that pocket. Again, it is deep enough to be able to support that. So if you want to carry your uh, multi-tool and your knife at the same time, you can go ahead and do that. So as you guys can see, they're out of the way of each other, but accessible you know, to each one without having to worry about banging into the other one. So that's pretty good. Uh, again, if you're the type of person that carries a larger size flashlight, this is a Thru-Night TC12. You can clip it onto that your regular pocket if you want to, or you can put it into the little fifth coin pocket, or even you know utilize one of these uh, hip pockets if you want to also. Again, it's out of the way, it's right there on the side, but it's easily accessible if you need it. You can go ahead and start using it. And then last but not least, it's a larger size knife. So if you carry something large like this, again, this is a Cold Steel Voyager XL. It's a very thin knife, but it is very, very large. Um, normally, if you were to carry it in the pocket, you know, as you guys can see, it, it rides in fairly low in there. But because you, I have that optional hip pocket right here, I can go ahead and clip it onto that one. And again, it is out of the way. I can carry my knife, I can carry my wallet in my back pocket like I want to, um, or you know, I can you know have the, the pockets in the front free and not have to worry about this larger size knife kind of being in the way or anything like that. Uh, last but not least is obviously, because you do have that uh, little bit of flex 
uh, because of the lycra material uh, blended into the fabric. If you do conceal carry maybe inside the waist, uh, you're not going to have to worry. As you guys can tell, there's a lot of give, so I can go ahead and you know put my firearm in there. I normally conceal carry appendix carry, so this is perfect. I can put my gun in there, um, you know, throw my shirt over, uh, put my belt on or anything like that, and not have to worry about going up a size in pants like sometimes you have to do, um, or you know, kind of rearranging stuff because your jeans or your pants aren't fitting you correctly. So I think for the most part, 5.11 did a great job with these jeans. Again, these are the Def Defender Flex jeans. Let me go ahead and pan this back up. So I've definitely been looking forward to these ever since I saw them at SHOT Show. I fell in love with them at first sight, and I'm really glad that uh, my local store car started carrying them. So if you guys are interested, I definitely recommend that you check out either the site, or if you have a store local in your area, go ahead and check it out, uh, because these uh, are definitely going to become your new favorite pair of jeans. So again, this is the Defender Flex jeans from 5.11 Tactical. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks.